with our building blocks, the, the first thing I want to share with everyone here is that when it comes to technical analysis, there are a lot of building blocks, a lot of concepts we will eventually use in our strategy, eventually on a daily basis using all these skills. But it all starts with very simple, basic building blocks, building up to another building block, building up to another building block. Therefore, you will see a mind map of sorts. When you go through all these concepts, it will always come from the basic stuff first. Expanding on the basic stuff, you give a maybe slightly higher, maybe more deep basic again, and then slowly, slowly go into a simple strategy, slowly, slowly go into an advanced strategy. Now for today, we are going to slowly start from the first concept called the OHLC or the candlestick, moving on to technical indicators or technical charts, moving on to volume, moving on to trend, moving on to moving averages, moving on to oscillators, and then slowly go into some simple strategies like GMMA, trendline, RSI, MACD, and finally advanced strategies. And this advanced strategy, I will only just go to one today, which is the bearish or bullish divergence. This whole flow is exactly what we're going to do. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the first concept or first building block. That is the candlestick. Now, I know some of you who are experienced, you might not think you need this topic anymore. But this is, in very, this is a very important foundation at which, at the end of the day, if it goes back still to the basic stuff, the definition of certain things like candlestick itself will shed some light over certain things, make your understanding of the whole topic even more whole, more holistic. So what is this thing called candlestick? At the end of the day, candlestick is a very simple representation of price data. When we deal with technical analysis, we always deal with price, price movement, price data on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, or even a minute basis. In order for you to understand price, the going up and going down, you will always see four pieces of price data on a daily basis, four. And that four pieces of price data is called open price, the first transacted price after 9 a.m. in the morning, the high price H, the highest during the day or the hour or the minute or the week or the month, and then low, which is the lowest during the period, and then for 5 p.m., the latest price transacted, we call close, C-O-H-L-C. Ladies and gentlemen, please write down O-H-L-C in the chat. It'll be a phrase we will continue using again and again and again, O-H-L-C. All your price data will surround these four pieces of information. The opening price, the high price during the day, the low price during the day, the closing price during the day. You may not think this is important, but when it comes to volume spread analysis, VSA, it will be a very key understanding of candlestick. Now, when it comes to candlestick, this thing, again, it's just a representation of price data. They have other types of charts or candles, like the bar candle or the bar chart. Uh, this is candlestick, the Japanese candlesticks, which has a candle-like look. And then when it comes to a candlestick, you will always see two colors. The two colors are basically green and red, blue and black or red. Basically, for a good candle, for a day that goes up, for a day where the opening price is at the low, and the closing price is at a high, it's always a nice color, green, blue, white, most of the time, except in China, where a good day, an up day is red color, opposite. So if it's a green candle like this one on your left hand in your chart here, right here, this one, this will straight away tell you, hey, that's straight away a good day. The O is at the low, the C is at a high close higher than you open in the morning. Now, of course, the opposite is true. The opposite is a red candle, and the red candle always opens at a high in the morning, and by the end of the day, 5 p.m., close at a lower. So you will see the colors is a representation of where your O's and C's are positioned. Simple as that. And that is the basic understanding of price data. 